pull, pulling up, looking like the mob. Swag so clean, I probably pull your mom. No joke, I make you suckers look like slobs. Oh yeah, you've been working a lot, but you ain't doing a good job. I always wanted a black challenger, straight up. Hey, welcome back, guys. So today, um, what we're gonna do is change the pedal ratio for the brakes on Jay Wide's Mustang. And I'm not gonna show you guys how I got the um, brake pedal. It's actually a brake and clutch pedal. Um, but what you'll do is first you have to remove the steering shaft out. Um, I don't know if you can see it in there, it's down below. After you get the steering shaft out, there's three bolts that go <coughs> through this side of the firewall and then on the actual pedal assembly there's that bottom left one is welded to the back of the pedals and it goes um, from the inside of the car out anyway on to uh, changing the pedal ratio so there's a lot of um, calculators that you can use online but long story short when you switch over to a manual um, brakes you don't have any brake booster or anything that's helping you uh, the leverage of the pedal so what you have to do is physically move this uh, tab that uh, that the brake lever or the brake cylinder connects to you have to move it up and so I've already done it on mine and figured I would uh, show you all how I did it doing it to J wides so first thing first we need to get this brake pedal off of this assembly Okay, so once you have the pedal off, then what you'll have to do is you have to grind this down until it's flush with the lever here, and then you'll get a socket and you'll actually beat this out, and it, it will come apart. So it wasn't as smooth or as easy as I remember, but it wasn't, it's not too bad. So once you have it out, what you're gonna do in this particular car is uh, we're just gonna measure up one inch and center it just like it was. And we'll have to drill a pilot hole just like this one to uh, re-weld this tab back in an inch higher. I just want to show you guys um, how I marked this. I said one inch, but it ended up being three quarters. Um, three quarters of an inch from bottom to bottom or top to top. And what I did was I set 
this on here and measure, move this up until it was a quarter of an inch apart and then I trace it out with a sharpie and then I'm going to drill a pilot hole and then follow it with this which is a 9 16 drill bit So you definitely do not have to TIG weld this, um, but TIG welding is a skill I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to learn, so, but you definitely can MIG weld this, just so you know. All right, let's take a look and see how that turned out. think that is definitely going to hold if I can't get it to focus oh yeah that's gonna look good that's gonna hold good There she is, uh, she's back together. So now uh, it's just putting it back in the car and then taking it for a test ride. Are the brakes working a lot better? Oh, I, didn't I, like even, it. I didn't even look. It's all right, we got a stop sign up here. Definitely better. Well, that's good. It was kind of sketchy before. Are you driving with two feet? Yeah. Fuck yeah. You got one to apply the horsepower and one to stop it. <laughs> uh, found out we got the, uh, with changing that pedal ratio, you also have to change the length of the, of the uh, shaft that goes into the brake. Uh, because it is applying the brakes at all times, which is causing us to roast the back tires because the brakes were slightly on. And uh, the we brakes also. Are so easy now. <laughs> which is good. Uh, another note uh, we had to. Uh, when you change that pedal ratio, the uh, brake lights don't work anymore, the brake switch. We didn't realize that until we drove all the way over here to Cop's house. Uh, but luckily we bought the uh, manual brake conversion kit from uh, Motion Raceworks and they put a pressure sensor. So we got that wired up, brake lights.